Stay connected to Larry Reed Live. Take a moment and like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube page, and hit the bell. Text Larry Reed Live to 33222. That's the words, Larry Reed Live, no spaces, 233222, and get notified when we go live. Become a member of Patreon today by logging on to patreon.com forward slash Larry Reed Live. Download the Patreon app and turn on your notifications. Get connected today. I'm your host, Larry Reed, and tonight, today, on August the 23rd of 2021, I have a very special, very special guest, and this is someone I absolutely love. If you know me and my love for gospel music, then you know that one of my favorite people meeting on the road when I was being the Stella Award nominated gospel artist <laughs> running everywhere trying to get a radio, I was able to have dinner with you mm -hmm. and her father as mm -hmm. well. Her father is in the studio. <laughs> there, he, there he is. That's him. That's, look, I'm going to say it like she said. That's daddy. Yes, <laughs> daddy. <laughs> uh, uh, that's daddy. Mm -hmm. uh, look, when we was eating, it was me, you, I think um, Pastor Cheryl Caesar, mm -hmm. and we were with, what's the man name that done the radio? Um, God, light skin man. Rick Rick, Joyner. Rick Joyner. Mm -hmm. Love Rick. Yeah. And, and we're just all we're eating because the man can cook. Yes. And one of the things that Vincent was with me at the time that was so fun that I said, she's so regular. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would think your voice is so huge <laughs> and your talent is like crazy. Thank you. You know you're talented, don't you? Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you're doing that thing like <laughs> Willie Moore did. <laughs> you, you have to know you're talented. Yes. You do. I love it. I love it. <laughs> The way that you sing. Now, are you a alto or a soprano or a contralto? What are you? I'm an alto. Uh, sometimes I get up there, but, okay. you know, I don't camp out up there. Good I right. get up there and I just come, come on back down. down. Yeah. And do you go to like an ENT? You, you take care of your voice or all of this is just... God yeah, led. for me, it's definitely um, what helps me is rest. Okay. When I get a lot of rest, I'm able to be more effective. So, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going all out of order. This is gospel recording <laughs> artist, and also now you are on the radio now. Mm hmm. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> and you had the voice for it back then. You were a pro. <laughs> Jacqueline Carr is with us. Now, how was it the last time we saw you, you were all over our TVs and you were hosting the Stella Awards? Mm -hmm. How was that? It was great. Um, when I found out I had the opportunity to do it, what people don't know is before the year came in, I had a list of things that I wanted to accomplish this mm. year. And hosting a big television show was on that list. Wow. So when I found out, I was definitely honored. I was shocked. And then finding out I was hosting with my big brother, Ty, yeah. it just took things to another level. I have performed on the stage. I have won awards, but co-hosting it, it just, it was just yeah. like out of the park. Now, before I ask you more about the co-hosting gig, you recently mm -hmm. did the awards. Mm -hmm. What awards have you won? Uh, to my, as it relates to Stellar's? Yeah. Or? No, as it relates to, I mean, I know you won a Stellar, but mm -hmm. what other awards have you won? Uh, Dove Awards, um, I'm Grammy nominated, oh. Billboard Award nominated, wow. yeah. And um, how old are you? I'm 24. And you, first of all, you came on the scene at 14, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, let me tell you, this is the reason why this was so hard to take. Bring that picture over. I said, now, wait a minute. <laughs> I know this is not Ja'Kayla. <laughs> I mean, she looked like a whole woman. And it was so hard. It's still hard for my mind mm -hmm. to wrap around that this is our little <laughs> Jacqueline Carr. And the mm -hmm. way, who designed all these dresses we're looking at? My stylist was Jay Bolin. Oh, he's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. And he's so nice. He's amazing. Because I saw him reviewing all the outfits for the Stella Awards. I said, he lying. Mm -hmm. He's not telling the truth. Some of the stuff is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> 
this some of this stuff is just as ugly as it can be. He said, my, oh, I understand that so nice. He was very nice. That's great. Mm -hmm. But you are absolutely have bloomed into such a beautiful woman. Thank you. Now, Daddy, how that feel? Daddy. Now, daddy <laughs> da right. Daddy. Da da daddy, how, da how that feel? Well, I mean, because she's a whole woman now. Right, yeah. Well, it feel good to see your daughter flourish into, you know, from the child into the woman that she is now and still doing great things. So it feels real good. Now, you got to be proud. Yeah, 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 very much so. And, uh, and just happy to be able to have walked this journey with her and see her develop every aspect of her life. Uh-huh. Man, you know, and one of the things that I absolutely love about Ja'Kalen and about your ministry is that it is a family affair. Mm -hmm. yeah. The whole family is doing it. Yeah. And your father's so involved. Mm -hmm. Now, now I want to ask him a question because I'm a father too, but mm -hmm. did you see your daddy go through changes seeing you grow up? In the beginning, he did. What was, what was the hardest thing for him to deal Just with? Just watching me grow up. For uh, the boys, because now you got a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen the little boyfriend. <laughs> look, look at it. Y'all look so nice. Thank I mean, look, you. Daddy, look really nice. Daddy, you like him? Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. My daughter is 16. My youngest is 14. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I already screened the boys. I have to meet them, meet right. the family yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, because when you are, have a family business, right. you know, one wrong person in uh -huh. her life can mess everything That's up. right. You know, mm -hmm. so... I, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Mm -hmm. What age did you let her start having boyfriends? <laughs> <laughs> oh I mean, well, that, I don't even know. I mean, uh, if it was up to me, I probably would have waited to 35. <laughs> but <laughs> it wasn't up to me. So, but, but she kind of, you know, grew into that space from about 21, 22. She kind of started growing into that oh, space. Oh, so you yeah. real saying. No, she... <laughs> Ja'Kalen is really saying. For, well, for you to wait to 21? Well, it's not... Me being being saved, I've okay. always been cautious of J. Kaylin. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I have the right to protect me. And I used to preach a sermon that called this, you know, basically saying, God can give you discernment that can recognize the enemy from afar off, mm. as opposed to you always being close upon him. Now, you know? when you start preaching, I started preaching at 13. Okay, well, then you were really sad because my 13 years old mm -hmm. daughter cannot be nobody's preacher. <laughs> I don't care how much she speak, she's speaking to him, prophesy. If she was doing that, uh -huh. not 13. She don't even clean a room. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> you need a mentor some of our daughters. Thank you. How, how, how Do you have anything, any plans for anything like that? Not yet. Um, I've actually been asked about it many times. My thing is I want to put my all into something. Okay. And by me having a lot on my plate, I don't want to be here all over the place. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I want to be able to do it effectively. I want to be yeah. there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah. But the, the next generation, though, they are missing so yeah. much. A lot of, they DM me a lot. Um, a lot of them comment and all of that. They have questions. Questions and I'm very open to, you know, answering their questions and all of that. But actually having a program, that's something I don't have Because yet. You're, you're saved. You mm -hmm. are a preacher. Mm -hmm. You're female. You're beautiful. You drip. All these, you see what she had on. You're throwing <laughs> a little, little something. You know, you all of that. And, Thank you, you. and, you, and you're grounded. Thank you so much. You are phenomenal. And I don't know if you know that or not. Because <laughs> you act like you ain't. <laughs> Let me have a little piece of that voice. I, 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 I would do like this, say, Tremaine Hawkins do. She walk around with her neck covered up. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, mm -hmm. how are you? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I'll be a Debo show. No. I cannot. Okay, now, speaking of that, Ben, mm -hmm. that you got into ministry, music ministry, when it comes to relationship, because was it hard for you to be like, okay, I'm about to show my industry mm -hmm. that I am grown to Kaylin mm -hmm. by what I, way I dress because you used to look like a little missionary. Oh, really? You know the clothes you used to wear? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who was dressing you. Who was dressing you? It was so ugly. I'm not going to play <laughs> with you I see, today. I know somebody over 80 is dressing. I said, what's she dressing? <laughs> and now you come up with these. I mean... It's still hard for me. I don't know because I'm a daddy. Mm -hmm. It's just hard. I'm like, this is little Ja'Kayla. And she's <laughs> a wrong woman. How hard was it for you to show up fully as 24-year-old Ja'Kayla with a boyfriend? It wasn't hard because for me, I've never lived for anybody else as it relates to... Mm -hmm. um, 
looking for validation, you know, people comments, how they feel. I live for it, Jacqueline. I follow the, the steps that God has set before me, and everybody else just have to jump on the bandwagon. Where you get that from? I mean, you that. This is why I keep saying you phenomenal. You Thank you. Twenty four years old, and you're talking about loving yourself mm -hmm. and living for yourself. Mm -hmm. You gotta be mama. Yeah, mom, dad, I've had a very strong foundation, and that was one thing they always taught me. Before the world knew who Jaquela was, confidence, and you not feeling like you have to um, heed to everything everybody says. At the end of the day, we all go through, so we all have those stages where we be like, well, what now? We, we look back and be like, now, you know what? But if that's where God had you then, then mm -hmm. that's what it was, you know? But as long as you're confident in it and he told you to do it, that's all that matters. Wow, that's amazing. Now, your greatest hits mm -hmm. of all... First of all, tell us what are, what are your biggest songs? What are your biggest songs in gospel? My biggest song yet is probably You're Bigger. That You're was bigger. the one that crossed me over internationally as well. Wow. Yeah, You're Bigger, You Will Win, Greater Is Coming was my first breakout single. Yeah. Um, it's yours. Yeah. Uh, and the ones Jehovah the, Jireh. Yeah. yeah, and the ones at the top of the charts now is... Mm -hmm. Je Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh. Jireh, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to choosing the songs, now, did any of those songs you wrote? Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, Jehovah Jireh, I wrote that one. And then the other ones that I just called out, my dad wrote that one. Wait, wait, mm -hmm. wait a minute. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, 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 wait. Your father mm -hmm. wrote these songs? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Okay, so, you know, the song got 200%, and then the publishing 200%, and then write it quick. <laughs> <laughs> what did they drive by there, Bentley? What is <laughs> y'all doing real good? Cause everybody be at the top of the charts, except mm -hmm. for the Mans, Tamala Mans, and a few other. They, so you, y'all are your own. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Everything is in house. Our writing, our publishing, all of that. So Kaylin, that is good. Thank you. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> you are a smart man. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to singing and performing those songs when, when you're on stage. Do you ever get nervous? Because you never seem nervous to me. Mm -hmm. Are you ever nervous? Um, I can probably count on one hand how many times I've ever been nervous. For the most part, I'm not nervous. Wow. Yeah. Um, is that because you don't pray in the spirit so hard or, or fasting and praying? <laughs> I don't or? know. I've always, the stage has always been like my second home. So, wow. you know, when I get up there, I get in that zone and I just, do what I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. It's, and it's great to me. I, I want you to know that for fathers like myself, mm -hmm. um, it really gives me a a look at the possibilities of our, the next generation. I'm 43 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. And I don't see a lot of people your age, mm -hmm. whether in the church or not, yeah. who are that savvy in business, mm -hmm. that clear on who they are. Mm -hmm. And the talent, because your vocal talent, we can sit you beside people that have been in the industry for 30 or 40 years, mm -hmm. and you're great at what you do. Thank now, you. has the industry, though, because you were young, mm -hmm. has the industry ever attempted to take advantage of you? Now, your father been there. Oh, so. yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wasn't going from the beginning. You know, he's always been very protective of, yeah. um, and it has... I, well, it has some to do with who I am, but moreover, I'm his daughter, mm -hmm. you know? And so that's something, that balance that has always been there, whether she was your Kaylin Carr or not, you ain't right. getting over on my daughter. That was, you know, just right. the type of mentality that so he has. So did your father play a part in the, the level of holiness? I know you ain't perfect, mm -hmm. but right. if you... Young folk like to have sex. Mm -hmm. We don't have any stories of Jaquel and Khan fornication. And you, you just done it so so right. How did you deal with being a human, a female, growing mm -hmm. up with normal, natural feelings? But daddy's, I know it's hard to talk about your dad sitting right oh now. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> uh, accountability partners. Um, mm. You know, I think what people got to understand, like you said, nobody is perfect. Mm -hmm. and, and, right. and I don't carry that. Uh, any right. day but the thing is when you have people in your corner that love you enough to correct you when you're wrong mm. and uh, celebrate you when you're right that's that's what's going to help you go a long way mm. I think sometimes we got to realize is that it's more to you just being able to sing more to you just being able to operate in your gift but when you have people in your corner that will push you into your destiny by telling you the right thing you know what I'm saying giving you the right advice it gives you longevity you know so 
Yes. I think that's what a lot of people are missing. I didn't, I didn't have that. Mm-hmm. Um, my parents are here upstairs in the guest room, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, but th- it wasn't always like this. Yeah. You know, it mm-hmm. was, what are you doing? This is what I want you to do. You mm-hmm. should, you're doing this over here. You're stupid. Mm-hmm. So having that support system, seeing mm-hmm. now and sitting here talking to you, that that has a lot to do mm-hmm. with the reason why you're so grounded, so mm-hmm. successful, and so mm-hmm. sure of who you are. You mm-hmm. had a lot of affirmation mm-hmm. from a from your father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Most black men, black youth do not have that kind of yeah. confirmation and affirmation from their father. A lot of fathers are absent. Mm-hmm. So that makes a lot of sense to me. I was wondering, what is the, what is the secret sauce mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of all of the outfits you had on at Still Awards? Which yes. outfit was the best um, that you like the best now? I would probably say, of course, I like the red carpet look, but my most... Fa- well, you talking about my outfit or in... No, your outfit. We can get oh, to a okay, red okay, 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 okay. Um, it's, uh, it's those three. It's that one right there, the um, multicolor one. Uh-huh. They didn't show a full uh, view of that one on the award show, okay. but that was one of my favorites in that... That one right that there. One. Yeah. <laughs> With the one sleeve just missing. Different, yeah. The red was really good. I, mm-hmm. That catches all men. I yeah. know, a lady in red, <laughs> if they over 40, mm-hmm. it can, <laughs> a, lady, a, lady, a lady in red is going to catch our eye. Now, let's talk about some of the outfits of some of the rest of the people that was there. Mm-hmm. Now, anything that Larry Reed may say right now has nothing to do with Ja'Kayla and Carr. <laughs> I love- <laughs> Okay, let's look at this outfit. Now, this is, I, mean, I love this woman. Oh, yes. Oh, my She's God, amazing. I love Yolanda mm-hmm. Adams. Yolanda Adams and her daughter. What you think about the outfit? I love her. I yeah. love, um, every time I see her, she's just an inspiration. Yeah, every t- she every time, she's beautiful. Her daughter, what they have on, they're just gorgeous. Yeah, I agree. I, th- I think it was spot on. And she's a tall lady. At this point, she's a model. Man. Yeah. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to interview her. And I... I don't know how I'm going to keep all my lusting. Uh. I'm going to uh, <laughs> be toe up in this chair. All right. Go to the, go to the next, next picture. Now, this was great. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was just saying, you go first, then I go. Oh, he Ty, come on now. That suit. I saw him walking in <laughs> yes. it. That is so, the color blocking. That yes. is never going to go out. Now, who this right here? Bring this over. This Mally oh, music. Mali. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he looked great as well. Okay, yeah. you like that too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, think I, like I love that. anything with color, just about. Yeah, I think I know? like that one too. And then I love too, because a lot of times you hear, um, you're you're used to the women yeah. showing forth their fashion, but when yeah. men step on the scene, it's You're yeah, like, really here's good. black and white, Sunday morning, mm-hmm. black and white. What you think about this? But Sean can dress. He Hell can no, really, yeah. no. <laughs> that ain't right. That's. <laughs> What is you doing? That is like Hezekiah Walker Christ did it I all. I just want to say, Vashon, I like your outfit. I love we you. We love you, Vashon, <laughs> but not what you got on. <laughs> that was too simple for Vashon Mitchell. I mean, but you got to think that people are coming back out, you okay, know, and it was you. the first Stella. I, it was the first Stella Awards that was yeah. back in person. People, you know, getting back used to dressing up. Because had, you I know, think so. I, I, had I not been hosted, I wouldn't tell you that I would be all. But you look good today. Up. Ain't nobody dressed you. dressed yourself, right? I did. That's yeah. what the problem is. These folks ain't got the business dressing themselves. You can't dress yourself. <laughs> they can't. But Sean did not seek any advice from nobody. He was put on Sunday morning, black and white. 1989. Christ did it all. Has God walk, walking in. Oh, going Lord, we praise to you. Play. That was wrong, but we love you, Bashan. All right, bring over. Now, listen here. Well, we got to be careful because this, this is royalty. Now, mm-hmm. what you think about these outfits? I love, listen, let me tell you something. I just want you to say, everybody you call out, I love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I lo- I'm so, and I'm so serious. Which one would you have worn of, of the four ladies? These are the queens now. I would have probably, based off of my style, it would either be, Miss Dorinda mm-hmm. or Miss Karen. Yeah, I, I probably would wear something like Who that. Who is this over here? Oh, bring this over. Who is this here? That is Anthony. Oh, he looked really that, good. I, as well. You know what made this whole outfit absolutely correct? Because the men don't always get it right. Mm-hmm. Is this line on the left side that elongate? Mm-hmm. That I is, thought it was different. That yeah. is terrible. Mm-hmm. And especially it. seeing it um, when he was on stage. Yeah. Those colors, it popped really out. Really nice. All right, let's get back to Ja'Kayla. <laughs> Ja'Kayla, you know, this is the reason why you're so good at, at what you do. Mm-hmm. You aren't a one-trick pony. You can sing. We have never, well, we have sat down and ate one time, mm-hmm. but we've never sat down and done a show mm-hmm. 
and you are quick witted. Mm. You're smart. <laughs> you're you're funny. Your daddy done such a good job. I don't know. Y'all got to help me with my cheering. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> Your daddy did such a good job. My cheering needs some help. <laughs> oh my lord! I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Okay, now, what is on the horizon? Because you're in radio. Mm -hmm. You have, dang, nothing that's the win and got specific for Grammy because you yes. said you were nominated. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure that's on your list. What do you want to do next? Well, I am, of course, I will continue ministry, but I'm also tapping into the business side of Ja'Kalen. I just launched my beauty company, which is Ja'Kalen Beauty, and the first product that I released was my fragrance, Ja'Kalen mm -hmm. for her and Ja'Kalen for him. Within the first week, Ja'Kalen for her sold out. Um, and I think we only have just a few left for mm -hmm. Ja'Kalen for him. But uh, just to hear the responses and all of that, it was just amazing. Um, it's something that I had actually been working on before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And in 2019, my team was going full force into working on it. Then the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. A lot of changes happened with the companies. I was working with, with my packaging and all of that. But I was during the pandemic, we were consistent. We were determined. We was like, listen. We either gonna put it out or we're not, and I'm just just happy to know that we did it successfully. Yeah. People are loving it, and so there's more to come. It? We're gonna buy it. My website, uh, jacalembeauty.com. Okay. You can pick it up there. We have no more Jacqueline for her. <laughs> you guys wipe that out. But it's coming back soon. Um, and there's actually a waiting list right now. And then uh, Jacqueline for him, we only have a few of those left. So you can log on to JacquelineBeauty.com. You're standing at those. the bottom. Up, uh, it's right up under her name right now on your screen. So go to it and go ahead and make the order. Even mm -hmm. if she says she don't have no more. Go ahead and get your order in so that they can go ahead and <laughs> yes. fulfill it. They'll be able to get more mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. Now, before you go, I'm always interested in asking artists this question. Who, are, who is your favorite gospel female artist and who is your favorite gospel male artist? That's hard. Um, I love the legends. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because of their longevity. Okay. Um, I love people like C.C. Wine and Jolanda yeah. Adams and, you know, Shirley Caesar. And I, and I, it really inspires me to see, look at their videos from back then and see mm -hmm. how they're still going strong now. It's amazing. Male is the same thing. I love the Kirk Carr. Uh, Kirk Carr. I love Donald Lawrence. Yeah. Um, I would say today's vocalist. Two of my top favorite is, uh, not today's vocalist, but you right. know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Um um, is Pastor Jason Nelson yeah. and Brian Courtney Wilson. Ah, yeah. that, his Brian's voice is butter. Yes, straight butter. Mm -hmm. And then the, and so is Jason. And the way that he can, he moves it effortlessly. Mm -hmm. His mouth be like this. Yes, I be like, are ten, you even ten runs. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> same mouth ain't move. He done did like ten runs mm -hmm. inside. Yes, I'm like, how in the world is he <laughs> able to do that? Mm -hmm. And that just is really amazing to me. And that explains why when we hear you singing mm -hmm. and talking, it sounds like it's coming from a, a seasoned, older lady. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you sound very seasoned because you're, you look to mm -hmm. the legends and you look to, when it comes to preaching ministry, because mm -hmm. you kind of preach, you mm -hmm. kind <laughs> Thank you. What female and it inspires your preaching. I don't ha really have a favorite. I just love good preaching. Mm -hmm. I love sound, uh, wisdom, revelation, mm -hmm. um, anybody that operates in the supernatural realm of God. I love yeah. great preaching, yeah. great teaching. Now, I'm going to ask you this. I keep trying to end the interview, but I'm just naturally uh -huh. curious. Yes. I know y'all got to go. <laughs> um, do you want to act? Of course. Um, I've actually done a little bit, and that's something that um, I will venture off into as well. Um, I, I mean, in the right time, it's going to happen. You got it, because I, I just I was sitting there looking. I said, that girl need to be on somebody's camera act. <laughs> Thank I, you. I can really see that happening for you. You know, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to Ja'Kalen Carr's IG. I want you to follow her. I want you to go to JaqueleneBeauty.com and get the his and the for her and support this artist. And make sure you call your local radio stations and ask them, I want to hear Jacqueline Carr, <laughs> Jehovah Jireh. <laughs> so that it can make sure it stay at the top of the charts. Stream it. They can download it now. Mm -hmm. yep. Stream and download it right now. 
and you will get a, listen, this is a vocalist. She can sing. <laughs> Anytime you can grab, they were tossing them, I'm watching them white toss. And it, I said, you know, this this 24-year-old is killing the game. <laughs> I want you to make sure that you request Jehovah Jireh. Go to, to jacalembeauty.com. Get the his and the her. Go ahead and make your order today. And I want you to do one last thing, which is to pray for her as she is doing what she is doing. Now, Jacalem, before you go, mm-hmm. I want you to say one line. Okay. Either of Jehovah Jireh or one of your hits that you have so that these people can hear who you are. Okay. God, I feel you now preparing me for my next move. My faith is being tested, but I know you will. You shall. You better come through just like you did, baby, Abraham. Lord. God, I need you to show me a sign. So today I challenge heaven because I feel in the spirit it's manifestation time. It's manifestation time. Good God, when you say I got the chill. <laughs> God. I might let y'all go. Or I might speak in my shirt though. I feel so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We love you. Hit like, hit share. Thank you so much, patron. If you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com slash Larry Reed Live. We have so many things that are going to be coming up, so many great things that is happening. And thank you so much for your donations every time I come live. If you're watching right now, you say, I want to donate. I love what is happening over here. Then you go right now to dollar sign MBN Network on Cash App, the at symbol MB. Look, my daughter that came in here. Look, she said, Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the at symbol LBN network on Venmo or you can go to LarryLive.com and click donate and that there is the PayPal way that you can transact or text the word give to 404 mm, 845-30 I always mess up that number I can't never remember that number it is manifestation time that was Jehovah Jireh right mm-hmm. yes. good God Almighty I just can't take it. Let me let y'all go. Goodbye. Bye. (laughs) Bye. Oh, my Lord. Stay connected to Larry Reed Live. Take a moment and like the Facebook page. Subscribe to the YouTube page and hit the bell. Text Larry Reed Live to 33222. That's the words. Larry Reed Live, no spaces, 233222. And get notified when we go live. Become a member of Patreon today by logging on to patreon.com forward slash Larry Reed Live. Download the Patreon app and turn on your notifications. Get connected today. Introducing Larry D. Reed.